Hi guys, let's look at the next question. But before we start the next question, let's quickly revise the five properties that we've done this year. Property one, angle at the center is two times the angle at the circumference at any other point at the circumference. Number two, angle in the same segment are equal. Number three, angle in a semicircle is 90 degree. Number four, sum of opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral is 180 degree. And number five, exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the interior opposite angle. Good, let's look at the next question. The next question that we have is question number 29. It says AB is a diameter. APQ and RBQ are straight lines. We need to find angle PRB. So I need to find this angle and I need to find BPR which is this angle and B PBR, so PBR, which is this angle. So these are the three angles that I need to find. Let's see if we can get something. So I notice that angle BAP and BRP are in the same segment. Let's just write that down. Angle BAP is equal to angle BRP is equal to 35 degree. Reason angle in same segment in that in this case the segment is pb so this angle is 35 degree so first part of the question which is brp done next bpr which is if i need to look at this angle well this big angle would be 90 degree because ab is a diameter so angle in a semicircle is 90 degree so let's just write that down angle apb is equal to 90 degree which is angle in a semi circle right so if this is 90 then this angle also is 90 because it's a straight line linear pair so angle bpq plus angle bpa is equal to 180 degree which is linear pair therefore angle BPQ is equal to 180 degree minus 90 degree is equal to 90 degree. So this angle is also 90. Now angle B here which is this exterior angle is the sum of the opposite to interior angles so which means it will be a sum of 90 degree plus 25 degree. So exterior angle B not B PBA PBR is equal to angle BPQ plus angle BQP. Uh, reason is exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of opposite to interior angles. Which means we will have point number six angle PBR would be equal to 90 degree plus 25 degree which means this is equal to 115 degree. So angle PBR is equal to 115 degree. This part of the question also done. Let's look at the last part which is angle BPR. So I'm looking at this big angle here BPR. So this one is 115 we just calculated. So I'm looking at this small angle here. So let's look at triangle BRP. I know these two angles. I should be able to figure that third angle out. So in triangle BRP, what we have is 115 degree plus 35 degree plus angle BPR is equal to 180 degree, which means angle BPR is equal to 180 degree minus 140, 150 minus 150 degree. Therefore, angle BPR is equal to 30 degree. So that's the third part of our question. Done. We've done all three of them. Let's look at the next question. The next question that we do would be question number 31. So let's look at question number 31. It says O is the center. Angle AOE is equal to 150 degrees. So angle AOE I have marked as 150 degree. DAO is 51 degree. We need to find CEB which is this angle that I have marked and angle OCE which is this angle that I have 
mark. Let's see if we can get anything. So this angle basically is an exterior angle of this cyclic quadrilateral. So it will be equal to the opposite interior angle. So this angle will be 51 degree. Let's just write that down. Exterior angle BEC of cyclic quadrilateral A, B, E, D would be equal to angle D, A, B, which would be equal to 51 degree. Reason is exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to interior opposite angle. So the first part of our question is done, which means I've got one angle measure already. This angle is equal to 51 degree. So I still need to find this angle. So CEB is done. We need to find angle OCE. Now, if this is 150 degree, the reflex angle here, the full one, the reflex angle here would be 210 degree which means this angle here would be half of it, which is 105 degree. Which means in the cyclic quadrilateral ABED, this angle here would be 75 degree because sum of opposite angles is 75, which means 75 is the sum of 51 and this, which means this would be 24. In case you lost me, let's write all this down, which I verbally said right now. So after we got 51, we calculated the reflex angle. So reflex angle AOE would be equal to 360 degree minus 150 degree, which is equal to 210 degree. Next, the major arc ADE, which is this arc on this, which is this arc here, makes an angle of 105 degree or makes an angle of ADE at the circumference and makes an angle of 210 at the center. So reflex angle AOE is equal to two times angle ADE. Reason angle at center is equal to two into angle at circumference, which means angle ADE would be equal to 210 degree upon 2 which is 105 degree. Now angle ADE plus angle ABE would be equal to 180 degree. This is sum of opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral which means we will get the value of angle ABE, which means angle ABE would be equal to 180 degree minus 105 degree, which is equal to 75 degree. So angle ABE is equal to 75 degree. Now in triangle BEC, exterior angle ABE is equal to angle BEC plus angle BCE. Reason exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of opposite to interior angles. So in this case, 75 degree is equal to 51 degree plus angle BCE, which means angle BCE is equal to 24 degree, which is the same as angle OCE. That's our final answer. Good. Let's look at the next question. The next question that we do would be question number 32. Question number 32 says, P and Q are centers of circle. ACD is a straight line. We need to find this value X. So let's look at this circle on the left hand side. This arc AB extends, subtends an angle of 150 at the center, which means the angle at the circumference here should be 75 degree. Yes, angle at circumference is half the angle at, half the, angle at uh, the center. 
So we've got one part of it. Let's see if we can get anything else. If this is a straight line, which means this angle now would be 105 degree. This is linear pair. Now let's look at the angle, uh, the circle on the right hand side. The major arc BD makes an angle of 105 at the uh, circumference, which means the angle that they make at the center should be equal to double of that, which means it should be equal to 210, which means this angle X is 150 degree. Let's write all of this down, which we just talked about. So point number one, uh, in circle with center P. So we first looking at this circle, angle ACB would be half of angle APB. Reason, angle at circumference is equal to half angle at center, which means angle ACB would be equal to 150 degree upon 2, which is 75 degree. Next, angle ACB plus angle DCB would be equal to 180 degree. This is linear pair. Let's write the other things down, which is uh, number 4, angle DCB would be equal to 180 degree minus 75 degree, which is equal to 105 degree. Now let's move, look at the center circle on the right. So in circle with center Q, what we have is angle BCD would be equal to half of a reflex angle BQD, which means reflex angle BQD would be two times angle BCD, which is 105 degree, which is 210 degree. Next part, X plus 210 degree would be equal to 360 degree. This is sum of angles around a point, which means X would be equal to 150 degree. That's what they wanted. We've done it. Good. Let's look at the next question. The next question that we do is question number 36. Let's look at the question. It says uh, ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. AB is parallel to DC, already marked. AB is diameter. BED is 65. We need to find DAB. I need to find this angle and I need to find DDC. So I need to find this angle. Okay. Uh, so let's look at this. This angle here would be 90 degree because AB is diameter. So this is 90 degree. I don't know how this will help, but let's look at this. Uh, see what all we can figure out immediately. Next, we know that this angle here would be equal to 115 degree. 115, yeah, because 65 plus something would give me 180 degree. These are opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. Will I need this? I don't know. Uh, what else? Is this forming any other angle? Yes, DB is forming this angle here, which is 65 degree. So DEB and DAB would be equal because this is 65 degree. Yes, uh, angle in the same segment. Next, uh, we still need to find this angle. So any uh, luck with that? Yes, if I can look at any other triangle or I can look at something else which would help me find if this is 90, this is 65. I will get this as 25 degree and this angle and this angle are equal because these are lines are parallel which means this will be 25 degree so basically I did not need 115 let me write my answer finally I hope you realize I've been doing basic mental calculations to figure out how I need to move from one place to another so let's look at this angle DEB 
would be equal to angle D A B it would be equal to 65 degree reason angle in same segment next so DAB we've already calculated this is my answer next angle ADB would be equal to 90 degree reason angle in a semi circle so let's look at in triangle ADB what I have is 90 degree plus 65 degree plus angle ABD would be equal to 180 degree this is angle sum property of a triangle which means angle ABD would be 180 degree minus 155 degree which is equal to 25 degree so angle ABD is 25 degree and then the last sign last uh, calculation which would be angle BDC is equal to angle ABD is equal to 25 degree reason for this would be alternate angles so here DC and AB are parallel and DB is acting as the transversal so these two parts both of them done good let's look at the last question for this video and the next question that we will solve will be question number 38 Question 38. It says AB is the diameter, O is the center, angle DCB is 120 degree. We need to find DAB. Okay, so this angle and this angle here will be 180, the sum of which will be 180 because ADCB is a cyclic quadrilateral. So this angle here is 60 degree. Already done. Angle DBA, which is this angle of uh, Okay, I don't know yet. This angle would be 90 because this angle is a angle in a semicircle. Okay, next is DBC. So I need to find this angle. I have been given that DO is parallel to BC. So I'm sure we need to use this somewhere. And ADC, which is this big angle here. Let's see what we can figure out. So let's see in triangle ADB. Uh, one second, I have marked this extra. This one is only till here. Correct? Yes, this is a semicircle. So ADB is uh, 1. So let's start writing now. Information which we already know. Number 1. Angle DCB plus angle DAB is equal to 180 degree. This is uh, ADCB is a cyclic quadrilateral therefore sum of opposite angles which means angle DAB is equal to 180 degree minus 120 degree which is equal to 60 degree so first part of the question done Let's see if we can get anything. So if this is 90, this is 60, then this angle obviously is 30. Let's calculate that. Number 3. In triangle ADB, 60 degree plus 90 degree plus angle ABD is equal to 180 degree, which means angle ABD which is what they have asked, they have asked it in the form DBA, I'll write this as DBA is equal to 180 minus 150, which is 30 degree. So this part of the question also done. Let's look at the next one. So this is 30, I still need to find DBC, which is this angle and uh, I need to find this big angle. Anything else that we know? Uh, Okay, I know that OD and OB are equal. Why? They are the radii of the same circle, which means this angle is isosceles. This is a this angle and this this triangle is isosceles, and these two angles are equal, which means this would be 30 degree. Okay, so if this is 30 degree, 
this angle would be 30 because these are alternate angles. Let's just write that down. So in triangle ODB, OD is equal to OB. Reason is radii of same circle, which means angle OBD is equal to angle ODB is equal to 30 degree. Next, angle DBC is equal to angle ODB is equal to 30 degree. Reason is alternate angles. So one more part of the question done. We've calculated DBC. We've done DBA, DBC. Now what remains is ADC, which means if I can figure out this angle, I should be able to figure out the total angle ADC. I, if this is 120, this is 30, and this obviously is 30 degree because this is a triangle, which means this big angle will be 90 plus 30, which is 120. Let's just write that down. So number nine, in triangle BCD, 120 degree plus 30 degree plus angle CDB is equal to 180 degree, which means angle CDB is equal to 30 degree. It may be, I, yeah, uh, okay, yes, that's fine. And number 11 would be angle ADC would be equal to angle ADB plus angle CDB, which is equal to 90 degree plus 30 degree. Therefore, angle ADC is equal to 120 degree. Done. That finishes this video for me. But before I leave, I'll mark some homework questions for you. Like I said in my previous videos, I will be solving the homework questions for this chapter in a separate video. So you could look at question number 28, question number 30, question number 34 and question number 37 as homework questions. Thank you so much. Take care. Be safe. I'll see you with the next video. Bye-bye.